Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the winner. And in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm going to be answering all of your guys' questions that you asked me about the Christmas and festive surprise update that we just got, and also the upcoming heist DLC that's going to be coming out in early 2015 for GTA Online. So I got all these questions from Twitter, so if you want to partake in the next episode, I definitely recommend you hit the description button and follow me on Twitter. That's where I announce these Q&A sessions, so if you want to get along and be a part of the next one, be sure to follow me on there. But without the way, let's get started. So the first question comes in from Big Daddy PS4, and he asked, do you think that heists are worth the very long wait? And I think absolutely. You know, at first, I wasn't very convinced that Rockstar was going to, you know, bring everything that they brought to the table in terms of the heist trailer all the amount of content that we're going to be getting. I thought it was going to be very similar to single player, and in my opinion, it wasn't worth the wait for that. But what Rockstar has supposedly done looks absolutely amazing. I think the hype for Heist is back. I definitely think there was a lull in the system where people were had either given up or were bored or really didn't care. But I really think that the recent trailer and all the information that's come out has really revitalized and sparked an interest in Heist that I definitely think was much needed. So Darren5550 asked, do you think that the Hydra will spawn at 4 Zancudo or just the carrier thingy that was announced in the trailer. So he's talking about the aircraft carrier that was announced that was going to be, you know, carrying these Hydra vehicles and was going to be a part of some sort of heist. I also think that they will eventually spawn at Fort Zancudo if and only if they are available in free mode. That's going to be the kicker right there. If they're not available in free mode, I only think they're going to be available on that aircraft carrier, which is going to be a part of a heist. But if they are in free mode, I can definitely see them being at Fort Zancudo. Now, Bunchy asks, do you think that Rockstar will implement a radio station on the phone when you're not in the car? So basically what he's talking about is the ability to listen to the radio station when you're not driving. And I think that would eventually be a good idea. I mean, the phones you have in Grand Theft Auto Online, I think our iPhones, which are essentially music players as well as phones so I think that would be really cool you know who knows how Rockstar would be able to implement that but I know a lot of you guys would love that the music in, in Grand Theft Auto 5 and in GTA Online is great so I definitely think there should be a way to listen to them outside of just driving in a vehicle so the Husky Jerk asked do you think that heists were delayed until next year so players can experience the heist on all consoles and PC and not just the 360 and PS3 and my simple answer is yes I think that Rockstar wanted to get all their platforms out PS3, Xbox 360, Xbox One, PS4, and PC so that they don't have to update it for an out upcoming console or PC release. Basic, simple answer, yes, that's what they were waiting for. Robert White asks, what do you think the pay will be for Heist, and do you think it will be worth it? Uh, I think the pay is going to be good, similar to what we've seen in a few of the screenshots so far, $500,000, $600,000, $700,000. And if it's worth it to you is subjective, you know, the time you put into the Heist, whether or not you want to be the leader or the follower, it's all going to be up to you, and that's what's going to make it worth it, you know. How much effort you put in is ultimately going to be what you take out of it. So Ben Kovacic, hopefully I'm pronouncing your name correctly, he said, what type of weapon? would you like to see added to a heist update he says like a scar or a ppsh 41 would be an awesome choice and i agree i want some exciting assault weapons maybe a new machine gun i think that would be great obviously you are going to be using uh doing heists which are going to require a lot of firepower maybe a new rpg a new sniper something along the lines of that i think that would be really cool and i think it would be a much needed addition to grand theft auto online's arsenal of weapons derek jarrell asked do you think that the karuma o death in air quotes will be an online unlike the duke of death and I do not think so I think the Karuma O death similar to the Duke of Death is going to be specific for heist just like the Duke of Death is specific for single player however I do think the regular Karen Karuma is going to be in GTA Online to be able to purchase unlike the Super San Andreas Autosports website I think that's going to be a no-brainer that that will eventually be available to purchase so Troll Logic says is GTA V next gen all you hoped it would be and what are your plans for Christmas also keep up the great work thanks dude uh yes Grand Theft Auto for the next generation has definitely been worth it it, it it is, they've really just fixed everything I've wanted. Uh, they've added so much new content. It's been a great experience. I got to retire my Xbox 360. Now my only two consoles are the Xbox One and the PS4. So I don't have to have three consoles, you know, on my desk at the same time. It's nice. They added a bunch of features for Christmas. I'm just laying low, hanging out with friends, family, playing a little bit of GTA Online. It's going to be a good day. Thank you for asking. And let me know what you guys are doing for Christmas in the comment section down below as well. And finally, our last question from Jagan's Bond asks, which heist are are you most excited for now we only know a few of the heists we know one of them is going to be a prison we know one is going to be the ornate bank one is going to have to do with a yacht 
And I think those are the only ones we know so far. But I'm personally excited for the Ornate Bank, because that's like a classic bank robbery heist. And also the Prison Break Escape. I think that's going to be really cool. You know, we've done a heist prep with the, with a Prison Break Escape, and it went over really well. So I think that it's going to go well in actual heist when they're released in GTA Online. So again, if you want to get involved in the next question and answer session, be sure to follow me on Twitter and leave a like on this video if you did enjoy. Of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new, and leave a comment in the comment section down below on what you're doing for Christmas. I, I want to know what you guys are up to. Other than that, guys, like I said, thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.